What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is Zero to Game Dev. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to copy your UVs from one mesh to another mesh with the same topology and size and pivot position. We want to make sure that we're on the lowest subdivision level, okay? And just to show you where we started, um, this is what our UVs look like at the moment. Pretty awful, I'm aware. How did I get that, if you're wondering? Um, I don't think she had UVs at the beginning, so what I did was I just came in here and I hit unwrap here, and you say, okay, export. I have a Maya file set up, um, and I will usually call it Lara underscore old UV or whatever you want to call it. Um, and you're going to export that either as an OBJ or an FBX. Okay. So now we have jumped into Maya, and this is the model that I resized, which you should not do. Please don't resize, um, and don't change your pivot. But you want to say UV, UV editor, and spend a couple hours, minutes, whatever, organizing this. Rename it. So let's rename it Lara underscore new. UV, and then we're going to say file, export selection, and I saved it as an OBJ, ZBrush again. You want to make sure that you're not on the current tool. So click on anything else and say import, click on the one that you want, updated UV, and it'll import her like that. Once you've done that, you want to come in here, click on your old tool again, and say append, and you want to navigate to your new tool. And that'll basically do this. It'll add one over here, and you'll get her. Okay. So, if you're wondering why yours isn't colored, basically all I did was I came in over here and said polygroups, auto groups with UV. Here we go. I'm going to just show you what this one looks like. Morph UVs, and this is basically what the new UVs look like in ZBrush. So, now that we have that step done, I'm going to put that back to normal. We're going to click on our new mesh, which is the Lara updated UV, and say Z plugin, copy UVs. Okay, so it looks like that. And then we're going to come in here and say Z plugin, paste UVs. Okay, now you've noticed it hasn't changed color, so we're gonna go and do that step like I was saying again earlier, and we're gonna go auto groups with UV, and there you go. And we're gonna just double check it here, morph UV, and there you go. Easy peasy. Now, just a little side note, if you want to just do HD geometry or detail in one area, you just control shift click and it isolates that area. If you want to undo that, you just, um, same thing, control shift click, but just not on the model and you're all set to go. So with that being said, I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any more questions, concerns, something else you want to learn how to do, drop it down in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Bye.